Yes. Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. Hey, Brittany, how are you? I'm a little upset, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely understand that. Uh, so, you know, you know, obviously, I know you pride yourself on defense. Uh, how, how do you try to just try to stay positive, considering you guys were playing really good defense leading into this game and just, you know, see this as a bump in the road and just try to compartmentalize it and, and push forward? How, how do you have that mindset as a defensive leader on this team? I mean, you got to think there's there's so many things going on in the world. The, the most I can do is like control my attitude, control my effort, control my energy. Like it sounds cliche, but it's, it's, it's so true. So especially with this game, for me to be upset tomorrow, the next day or the next day about it, it's not going to do nothing. I, I can't, we can't go back. We have 40 minutes to try and win. And now we got two more chances whenever that comes up that we play Washington, but we also have a game on Saturday and some more games after that. So we can't get hung up on this. We just got to watch it learn from it and build from it. Thanks, Chris. We'll go to John W. Davis with Winsider. How would you grade the, the, the level that you competed tonight? I always compete at 110. If I did differently, I hope somebody tell me, but I think I gave 110. Sorry about that, John. Go ahead. No problem. I was I was saying I agree with that. And like you were saying, you have to move on to the next game. How quickly can you do that? <laughs> well, right now, I don't know. Um, I mean, I usually for me personally, I give myself at least the rest of the night to talk about it or you know, vent about it or watch the game. I always watch the game back the, the day after. Like I go on the, on the app and I watch the game. I stay up till two, three o'clock in the morning sometimes. And I just watch the game. And once I get it out of my system, I don't go back to it. So uh, I, I'd say 12 hours. I give myself like 12 hours to sulk about it. And then I, I learn from it and keep it pushing because I got a job to do them next couple games, every game, honestly, but you know. Brady Clock for SB Nation. Brittany, uh, just to add to that a little bit, how nice is it to have a game on Saturday that you can bounce back to instead of having to wait a week like you did early on in the season? Man, you took the words right out of my mouth. I love it because it almost forces you to have a short-term memory, you know? You can't really think about what you didn't do against Washington. You got to think about what we got to do against many. So um, I like it, yeah, because in the beginning of the season, it was kind of hard taking that loss and then having to wait a whole another week. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fun to be able to get that back and get that winning spirit, you know, back into the, into the building. Last question for Slim, David Yapkowitz with the next. Hey, Brittany. Um, you know, speaking about the defense a little bit, um, since you guys had been playing really good defense, you know, up to this point, um, do you see tonight as being kind of like just a little slip up there um, a bit? Or, you know, were there things out there that you saw that perhaps, you know, you guys can tighten up on or, or improve on, you know, heading into the next game? Yeah, I mean, for sure. There's, there's always things that, you know, we can learn from. And for sure, uh, one of those things was uh, kind of getting out of our shell, kind of getting out of our defense. They, we kind of spaced out a little too much or we overhelped. Um, which is like a bittersweet thing because at least we're wanting to help each other, but we just got to keep it tight like we've been doing in other games where everybody's moving on a string. So once, once we get back to that, we're good to go. Everybody knows now like, okay, you know, LA is, is a very, very strong defensive team. So we got to make sure we get those kinks out so they don't expose some things. Thanks, Brittany. Big screen. Nice setup. Hey, Arella. Hey. Questions for Arella Garantes. We'll start with John W. Davis with Winsider. Arella, how would you grade your own performance tonight? Mm -hmm. I would say C plus. Why is that? 
Um, because um, looking overall offensively, I felt like I was aggressive. Um, but to me, that's not impressive to me. It's just, that's what I'm here to do. Um, and I think I came off to uh, soft the first couple games and um, just embodying the body of work that I put in. Um, I feel like I was just coming into my own. It was only bound for that to happen and for it to continue to increase. So that's not impressive to me. Um, I'm looking at a whole game scale where uh, there's just certain plays where that can be, to me, in my opinion, game changers, whether it's offensively or defensively, um, that really could have maybe stop momentum, change the game. So that's why I give myself a C plus. Um, Thank you. Well, I'm looking forward to a game where you give yourself an A. Thank you. <laughs> Chris Camello, Nightcast Media. Hey, Arella, obviously a, a tough loss tonight, but, um, you know, how, how do you guys just try to see this as just a bump in the road, you know, because you guys had been playing really well on both ends of the last uh, few games. I think you guys had won four out of five. Uh, how do you see this as just a bump in the road and just kind of keep pu pushing forward? Um, well, you just have to credit to the other team, too, because they're a very disciplined team. And going into this uh, game, we knew that they're a great team. Um, so... Um, I think it's just another stepping stone um, in the right direction for all of us. And it's really, it's basketball. Like you gotta have quick memory with certain things like this. Like you dwell, excuse me. If you dwell too much on one play or one loss, um, that can mess up the rest of the season. So you have to have quick memory. David Yapkowitz with the next. Hey, Arella. Um, you know, despite the loss, I mean, it just kind of looked like you kind of were a little bit more comfortable out there, you know, in terms of, you know, being assertive, um, you know, looking to, to get your own shot. You know, is that, is that something that, um, you know, it's just you kind of getting more adjusted, you know, to the pro game? Or was it just something that, you know, you just kind of saw the seams there and the defense, you kind of saw the openings there to, to kind of hunt for your shot a little bit? Yeah. Um, I think I realized the last four years of, you know, my basketball career in college, I've always had to count them. Always. Every time I've gotten the ball. So I was, you know, there's plenty of times where I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm actually open. Like, <laughs> um, so I think just being accustomed to like, hey, you have the first one. And I had to engrave that like in my mind and mentally like these past couple of weeks, just engrave it in my mind to take the first counter second. And I think it actually showed today and transferred from my brain to the court today. Chris, did you have a follow up? Uh, no, no, I didn't actually. Uh, thanks, Arella. All right, thank you, Arella. Thank you. Hey, coach. Good night. Questions for head coach GM Derek Fisher. We'll start with Brady Klopp for SB Nation. Derek, what do you think was kind of the main factor in your defense not being able to force the amount of turnovers uh, that you've been forcing in the last few games? Um, I guess the fact that we spent the last two, three days talking about how great the defense is. <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, I, I, you know, I think you just have to give Washington a lot of credit. Um, you know, really you know, savvy veteran guards and Natasha Cloud and, and uh, you know, Leilani Mitchell, um, you know, and just a, a team that's, you know, becoming more sure, you know, and who they are and, and what they want to get accomplished on the floor. Um, you know, and so, you know, you, you have to really tip your cap 
you know, to, to Washington. I mean, I, I thought that we, um, I, I don't think it was complete, you know, lack of effort. We had some breakdowns for sure. Um, you know, I think that personnel wise, you know, Tina Charles's abilities, you know, Atkins abilities, you know, Hines Allen, et cetera, Cloud's ability to get downhill. Like, I, I think they, you know, they just caused us more stress uh, defensively, to, to be honest. And uh, so, you know, we, we really weren't able to be as disruptive and, and uh, you know, get out and, and get some additional field goal attempts off of our turnovers, which is really what we need in order to, you know, to be able to score consistently. Amna Subban, LA Daily News. Hey, Coach. Obviously, a tough loss. To sort of follow up on what um, you were saying, it seemed like grit and effort were sort of the mainstays of this team. And then said it was Washington who sort of led that. What do you think contributed to that? Um, you know, I mean, I think I think our group is battling. You know, we we uh, you know we spent the week on the road. You know, flew back to LA for a couple games and then back out and um, you know pushing through. You know, seven eight player rotation and obviously Cardi and Christine coming in to just you know try to help us. Um, you know, fight through. Uh, you know, the adversity, but, um, you know, I, I, I think Washington is, you know, that's who they have been, you know, Mike Tebow has, uh, you know, created that culture and environment here. And uh, it's something that we've, we've displayed and, and been able to put out, you know, almost every night this season, even sometimes when we've come up short, um, you know, but, but you can see tonight, we only could do it in, in short stretches and we couldn't sustain, you um, you know, the grit and effort in particular on the defensive end, uh, you know, that that it would take to get to get some stops against this team. And, you know, again, I think after, a, you know, a slow start, um, you know, and, and navigating through injuries and, 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 and a bit of, you know, new personalities on their roster, you know, I just think Washington's playing better basketball than, than what their record shows. And, you know, they were better than us tonight. David Yapkowitz with the next. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, a little while ago, um, Arella was talking about how, um, you know, she's she's really um, she's adjusting to to being open in the WNBA. How in college, you know, with with defenses swarming her, that um, you know she often had to use uh, go to one of her counter moves instead of uh, you know going being able to go with her first move. Um, she looked kind of looked really comfortable out there a little more um, offensively. Um, just what did you see from her out there tonight? And then just overall, you know, as she continues to, to adjust to the pro game. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's a big adjustment for, you know, Arella in, in a very unfortunate situation with, you know, the delay to the beginning of, you know, training camp and after the draft in terms of clearing health and safety protocols and, um, you know, no training camp basically and, you know, and coming in over three or four days and, you know, showing enough for us to believe that she has a bright future and that she can help our team. Um, but that for sure makes the transition um, into the season just more challenging and more difficult for uh, for a young player. So there's a lot flying at her. We're throwing a lot at her. Uh, the opponents are throwing a lot at her. Uh, and so, you know, there, there's always going to be that adjustment, you know, early in your career uh, and especially for a player that, you know, offensively dominated the game the way that she did in school. Uh, also adjusting to the fact that at the pro level, it's really ultimately about the impact on the game that you have um, as much or more than, than what you show statistically. There are a lot of professional players, women and men, that, you know, have great looking statistics and really don't have any impact on winning. Uh, and so uh, I think for Rella learning what impact actually means in that, even as you're finding your comfort level with your individual game, you know, some of the things that she's doing defensively, the deflections, the steals, you know, being in the right places on that end, she has the size to be a good rebounding guard. Um, and she has the size uh, and the ability to make plays for other people. So those are all things that, you know, she can improve on as she goes forward. And, um, you know, we're, we're asking her to try to do all of that as quickly as possible, but, you know, the reality is, whether it's for her, for Taya Cooper, um, you know, a lot of our younger players, like, you know, they're just going to have to learn it as they go. And 
and uh, you know we'll have to just figure it out. Time for two more tonight with Coach Chris Camello, Nightcast Media. Hey, Coach. <clears throat> Uh, obviously a tough loss uh, tonight, but uh, you know, how, how do you just see this as a speed bump and just try to have a more positive disposition, even after a, a double digit loss in order to keep the team, you know, trucking forward because you guys have been playing well, four out of five. So how do you just kind of keep that positive disposition and be like, Hey, there's going to be nights like this over the course of a 32 game season. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's important to not only message that, but uh, you know, be an example of that, uh, you know, there are going to be, uh, you know, nights in this league, whether you play well or not, you're going to come up short, uh, especially on the road. Um, so you can't hang your head. You have to really be prepared to move on to the next one. Uh, even if you win, you know, you can't celebrate. You have to be prepared to get ready to go out and give yourself a chance to win uh, the next ball game. So it's the same thing here. And, and uh, you know, it, it, this is part of, of, of growing, you know, as a group, like it, uh, things can go well for uh, a little bit. You can't win a few games, but you're always going to be reminded of how far you have to go at some point. Um, you know, whether you run nine or 10 off or one or two, uh, at some point you're going to be humbled, right? You're going to you're gonna get knocked down. And the best ones find a way to continue to chip away at it, get up, uh, you know, continue to fight the fight. And that's what we have to do. Uh, you know, there's... There's no shame in losing against good teams on the road uh, in this league. It's always been that way. It's why it's a hard league to uh, get separation in. Uh, and so, you know, we just have to figure out a way to, you know, take a look at some things tonight that we can do better and prepare ourselves to, uh, you know, have a chance to win, hopefully in Minnesota on Saturday night. Last question, John W. Davis with Windsider. Uh Real quick, I know you can be tough on yourself. I was just wondering, what grade would you give yourself for your performance in this game tonight, Coach? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't play, so, I, you know, I, I don't think my performance necessarily is like... Well, maybe, maybe you know, not your performance. Thing, but just, yeah, but just, um, you know, yeah, I'm not sure, like, how to quantify it, I guess. Um, you know, every night I feel like I personally can do things better to help our team, um, you know, whether it's calling timeouts at different times or, um, you know, making a, a, a play call or an adjustment defensively that could have maybe changed the complexion of the game. Um, you know, so that that's an every night thing. Um, you know, the first thing I do is, you know, those are the questions I'm asking. I very rarely come here or walk in the locker room and start pointing fingers towards the players, you know? Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm always going to look at, you know, any game we play and see where I could do some things better. And, you know, when I'm watching the, the video back, it's I'm watching, you know, where we can be better to help our players. And that's, that's what my job is. So, um, yeah, I try not to get too caught up in it because it, like, I don't take the credit when we win, and you know, but I hold myself accountable for sure when we come up short. You know, you know something that I can be doing better, and I guarantee you, I'll continue to work to figure it out. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone.